Hi, I'm Jennifer Esposito. I am an actress, and I was diagnosed with celiac disease about a year and a half ago. Let's go home. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease. It's basically when a person eats gluten, it doesn't digest properly, and it's like you're starving yourself. You will not get nutrients. It's a serious disease. It leads to cancers and a lot of debilitating diseases and death. I was sick throughout my whole life. I had problems with nervous stomach. They tested me for MS at one point. I had hair falling out. And it was all from celiac disease that was undetected. By the time I was diagnosed, I mean, I was doing Samantha Who at the time, and I was wearing a wig. I would have to put these packs on my eyes because they were swollen out to here every day. And then at one point, my tooth chipped out of my mouth in the middle of the scene. And my body was just so toxic. I've been through so many doctors, and one basically told me, you have the highest case of celiac disease that I've ever seen, and I don't know how you're existing like this. It's like, I knew it. Gluten is in everything from wheat, bread, pasta, cakes, cookies, all the wonderful things. It's in everything. I was never the actress, don't eat this because I'm not gonna look good. I would eat the pasta and the bread, and you know, it was joy. So to hear, that I couldn't have so much of what I loved. It's still, to this day, it, um, is difficult. Morandi is a restaurant that I went to all the time. And I went there before I had celiac, and I would eat my face off. Thanks, how are you? When I was diagnosed, I went in. I said, here's the deal. I really want to still come here, but and they were like, no problem. We'll figure it out for you. Thank you. I'm the general manager at Morandi Restaurant. I know she's been through drastic change when she find out about food allergy and with a celiac. Since then, we really encourage her to come in. This is the good menu. Promising, preparing the dishes in the way she likes. Of course, the pasta, you look at, you cry, and then you put it aside. And I've discovered I'm allergic to now shellfish, which really, I should be drinking a bottle of wine like this. But it's so depressing. I'm just going to cry for a second. Ah. You know, people ask, don't you miss it, don't you? And yes, but how sick I feel, I just can't, I can't, I can't chance it. We have to just make you always feel, you know, welcome, comfortable. I finally came to the realization that I was still waiting to feel like myself again, but I have to realize that that self is no more. It's a new me. Yes, those tomatoes smell delicious. What I am really on a mission to do is bring people back to this tomato. Pure, good food. They can't take that away from me. There's nothing wrong with this, this here. This here, beautiful, from the ground, made in a better way. But this is still, it's like, wonderful. I put some salt on this and olive oil, and I'm very happy, and some wine. Mm. I'm good. Here in my kitchen that all my gluten-free love comes out of. All of my recipes really did come from wanting to eat. I say it was around month nine after being diagnosed with celiac disease. I started to get a little bit of a fight in me again. And one night I was like, I want carrot cake. I want carrot cake. And I went in that kitchen and I made carrot cake. And I danced around the house like a crazy lunatic. I made carrot cake. First thing we're gonna do is start with my all-purpose flour. I've created this flour, and it's basically brown rice and sour gum flour, almond flour, which you have to do some starches, so I cut it between tapioca starch and potato starch, so that's my flour. And it smells just lovely. I wasn't thrilled with a lot of the flours that I found on the market. A lot of products use white rice flour. It turns to sugar immediately in your body. There's not that much nutritional value. 
this is what happens. When you tell me I can't eat, this is what happens. It's basically taking a situation and someone saying, you're never going to do this. And I'm like, I'm going to eat. You're not, I'm not going to be stopped where I'm not going to feel like a regular person. Today we're going to make banana pecan chocolate chip muffin. So there's two cups of my flour. And these are dairy free and corn free. And I don't use any refined sugar at all. So you can eat like three or four of them like I do in one sitting. Let's whisk that. So these recipes really did come from number one, wanting to eat. But it also came from not wanting to feel so different. So then it came up with this idea that if I'm feeling this way, tons of people that are feeling this way, all of this is gluten free. I know I could give this to a celiac child or celiac woman or man, and they will be OK. It has honestly been the most rewarding thing I've ever done. 3 fourths of a teaspoon, OK. There are things out on the market. A lot of them are packed with sugar. A lot of them are packed with salt, a lot of preservatives. And they taste gluten-free. So you feel like, well, I'm eating this cardboard that's supposed to be a bagel. Making a bagel that looks like a bagel, tastes like a bagel, feels like a bagel, crunches like a bagel. So that's an actual bagel. For a celiac, this is love, right here, it's love. Love in a round circle with some seeds. The texture of my stuff is the texture of real bread. Knowing that I can make that and I can make muffins, thank God. Otherwise, I would not be a nice person. My assistants are not on the job right now, they're sleeping. As soon as the smell starts, two heads come to the window right here, especially banana muffins, because they love banana. So, And they're gluten-free now. Now, this is the stuff that really holds everything together. We're going to put the bananas in here now, and let's just give that a whirl. Oh, there's one of the assistants. Hello. You smell banana? Makes me so damn happy to be able to have this stuff. I can't even tell you. I want to know that if I'm eating this muffin, it's not loaded with starch and sugar and preservatives. And with having things like this, you will not feel deprived. I want people to get back to real food and stop with all the fast food and all that nonsense. OK? So that's my muffins. I can't wait to taste them. I love cooking. Hello, sweet little muffin feeling of comfort and home, and that's what I missed so much. Oh, yes, I always have to taste everything. Mm -hmm. That's a real dance. What do you have on me? Nothing. Nothing, Martha. You have gluten. I don't have any gluten. 